one of the greatest pop that right <laughs> yeah they want to know and over <laughs> I'm grateful that you guys are here with us if, if you are at all no we're from reboot robot i'm carlos charlie mungia and here's my okay shinkei day dei is not day is there you go and that current real real meaning but if you ever ask what the day stands for it stands for nothing but it's an acronym so not today though not today because we want to keep you listening to the, to the podcast that, that like reels you in that's the hook you know, so it like, is it is listen to the podcast they'll be like i want to hear what that means and then like damn it not again damn it like it is after, it, it, it is like after a year of podcasting it is like uh like your math dealer for the first time he's gonna give you like a free sample just like a, there you go something to hook oh. you but they won't let you go <laughs> they won't let it go exactly good that, that's a good point i like that i like that thing cool yeah. so um let's see so um how should we start this off with some uh, news of the week? Or what do you say? Yeah, before let me explain, because I'm playing an oldish game today. I'm, right. um, I'm playing Borderlands. And that's for and it's for two reasons. Reason number one, we we, uh, we had a, a little discussion before we started. And like, uh, we should play something that we can play on autopilot. So, um, so Borderlands is, a, is something I can play on autopilot, especially on this section, because... I'm already a little overpowered, um, and um, somebody sent me an invitation for Rocket League. I'm sorry, but that's not gonna happen. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. Not at the moment. Okay. And um, hold on, I'm going to reply re really quick to a message, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna talk. So don't worry about that. Okay. So that that thing. And I want. I, I'm actually. I'm actually. I've been playing. Um, trying to unlock not unlock but i wanted to to get a cool screen capture of a cool um of a cool um uh easter egg a dark souls easter egg that i'm going to wow. show you let's Ooh. let's hope i can let's hope i can get it because it's it's a little um hard to get and you'll see you'll see how i'm going to explain everything in a moment once we start playing it i reloaded the whole level because i needed enemies and i'm going to explain why in a moment um Do okay. it. It's gonna be monumental. It's gonna be historical, people. Yeah, it's not. It's not like. A, it's not like you say. It's a four-year-old Easter egg that everybody knows about. And actually, I was able to get it in PS3 the first time that I played it. This time, it's proven more complicated, but it's also been a little funny. Okay, so what I'm, what I need to do. Okay, uh, once we get there, I'm, I'll explain everything. On the meantime, let's, let's start with news of the week. Because that's all we can talk about this week, since there's nothing cool coming out besides news. Let's do the little news theme. The, the little news theme. <laughs> we need some background noises up in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, we should. We yeah, should have. Man, we need some background noises. We should have. We should have like, like a, a soundboard or something, no? Yeah, like a yeah, soundboard. Yeah, soundboard exactly. <laughs> there's all That'd this. Cool. Tech, there's all this. Tech, there's probably like a thousand, a thousand newscaster or like a, like. Um, like type of radio casting uh, soundboards, and we have none. Okay, that's that's that's. Yeah. Uh, we should make a notation for the next episode. We must have a soundboard. Yes, I'll write that down. Note to self: soundboard. All right. All right, got it. All right. So actually, before we start with news of the week, what if we talk about what the upcoming projects that we have for this week, and for the upcoming month? So what do you have in the pipeline for us, Charlie? I, I saw uh, you posted uh, this cool video with the Hall of the Week. Um, oh, yeah, whole... the Hall of the Week. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, as you've been uh, noticing, I've been putting a lot of stuff on just uh, on the collectible side, you know, buying some mm -hmm. figures, uh, where to buy them, and I don't know, just, you know, just doing my, my own thing, letting people know what's out there, and it's just that. I love this hobby. I've lo I love this hobby for a very long time, so I'm going to express it more through the videos and stuff. So, and um, I'm going to definitely have some more videos, especially by next week. I'm going to have another um, sideshow collectible coming up. So, hopefully, you guys will stay tuned for that as well. And it's and this character is is from Star Wars, so I think I'll I'll leave it from there. I'll leave it as a, like a surprise. So let's see how that goes. On. Spoiler alert. A spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert we are not spoiling anything i don't i don't know either guys so i'm still on the i'm still on the 
<laughs> I would. Do I, you I, surprise I, yourself? Also. All right. Um. Yeah. I, I would actually do more collectibles if the dollar wasn't so expensive. Just for all of you who are like first timers. Uh, I'm not on the on the U.S. I'm on Mexico, so I'm a little bit more limited when it comes to budget for buying cool shit. So, um, yeah, I wish I could There's get a lot of cool um, stuff over there too, though. I mean, you, uh, yeah. you got to tell them you you live like in the heart of one of the biggest flea um, markets of the flea world. Flea markets in Guadalajara, and man, these flea markets it gets to the point that you go there when you're actually looking for something because if you plan on just go in there and see where you're going to find. You're going to either get lost, tired, or robbed. I don't know. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. <laughs> but, I mean, this place has everything, dude. I mean, I remember I'm trying to find even the, the little weirdest thing, and they, they happen to have it. It's just, it has everything. It's, I, I love it. They call it the Baratio, by the way. Yeah, that's a cheap, that's a cheap place uh, translated to English, kind of. It's funny because a lot of people here, like, try to find an antique, like, antique consoles or gaming and everything you could find everything there anything antique mm -hmm. even to retro gaming over there crazy yeah that's true that's true and um the yeah. only thing the only th uh, actually they, they had like a like a big bust a couple months ago uh the new major just came because they used to sell like like animals including exotic animals like oh yeah illegal animals yeah. and stuff so they had like a big bust a big a big crackdown a couple months ago and they took them all away. They don't. You, you won't find animals anymore on the, on the on the baratillo. So that's that's that one was, thing. They sold a they sold a rhinoceros. Like there's a myth that they tried to sell a rhinoceros. Yeah, they didn't come in I there. I heard that myth. I don't know. Yeah, they, all, all those all those type of all those type of things they don't have them there on on site. But uh, yeah, you can you can buy them. I mean, you there's can a have crazy like crazy black market there. Exactly, but that, that's one thing you won't find anymore. You won't have, find exo exotic or even just common animals anymore because we have the government crack down on those guys. And yeah, well, there are some, uh, believe it or not, there are some uh, pretty stiff uh, regulations when it comes to owning and selling animals here in Mexico, especially on this oh, state. Yeah. But uh, the, thing yeah, is, the thing is, people just disregard law here. So that's why you have... Uh, there's a lot of corruption from political level to just people just being stupid so that's why of we course. get the, we get the bad fame that we get but like we have like for example like a, a lot of um, weapon regulations and all that and still you see all that shit um, being sold and stuff oh yeah you can't get rid of it you know completely 100 percent. obviously i mean that's just how it is yeah yeah but the, but the thing is yeah the whole point is um right now because of the the price of the price of oil is going down i mean it's going down the dollar is going up and uh for me buying cool figures and stuff is becoming a little bit more complicated uh yeah i feel you gaming money uh that will not go away but uh buying other stuff kind of sustaining a couple hobbies it will be a become a little bit more complicated un until we everything gets sorted out so yeah, yeah guys. I totally understand that. I mean, I was doing that for for a while too, but um, but uh, but uh, it, I mean, other than that, we're still gonna you know pump out videos, which is oh, either yeah. gaming or collectibles or whatever. So I mean, either way, you, we had you, we we got you covered. Oh yeah, the the game the gaming is not slowing down, not at all. Like if no, I it never slows down. If I have if I have to give anything up, it will be food probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat the games. I'll eat. I'll eat the discs. Yeah. I can just uh, <laughs> I can just leave on free coffee at work. Oh, there you go. Just put extra cream when you're hungry. You know yeah. Or put like. Yeah, for <laughs> Yeah, I can and I can just I can just leave all of the all of the free crumpets and all that. There you go. Nice. It's all about survival. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. All right. So, so what's up with the news? What, what's going on with that? Uh yeah. Um. Yeah, so the first news, uh, something that has been the, the discussing outrage on the community, mostly on PC gaming, PC gamers. Um, mm -hmm. Well, as we know, uh, this upcoming March, uh, in March 12th, I think, uh, Combat Pack 2 yeah. for Mortal Kombat is coming out. Uh, Comp the Combat Pack 2 includes a lot of really cool stuff. For example, I will have four new characters. Uh, well, actually seven if you count Triborg as... Uh, Three separate separate characters. 
It will have That's Predator. One, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's um it's actually really cool because uh, they will use a variant system to just include all the all the cyborgs on one character. And that's pretty yeah. smart, actually. That's like Cyrax. Uh, who else? Cyrax, Sector, and and Sector Cyber and Smoke. S smoke, yeah, Cyber Smoke. Like the Smoke. If you listen to the background story, the Smoke got kidnapped and turned to a Cyber Ninja, right? Uh huh. Or did he do that? Did, did he do that willingly? I think got kidnapped uh, and then got forced to be changed, right? Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the lore much about it, but I yeah, that's I, what I heard. Yeah, I think I think a smoke got got coerced into that. Mm -hmm. Uh but Sector and, and Cyrex they did it willingly. But they didn't willingly, huh? They've always been like that. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what I remember. Okay, cool, cool. That's something like a pretty good character. That's kinda of like a Shang Tsung of robots, right? I mean kinda of switching between remember Shang Tsung? I used to shape shift between all the characters, but this time it'll only be with with three robots, but I mean that does sound kind of like a cool idea. Exactly. So, so actually, in that way, people get to play the three cybers on one. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. So, so it's a really cool idea. So it will have the triborg. It will have a, a character I'm actually very excited about. Uh, not many people is uh, Leatherface, which is a perfect I'm addition excited, to Mortal. Dude. Dude, uh, yeah. That's 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 the one I'm looking for. Between all of out of all the people you're gonna announce, Leatherface is freaking badass, dude. I mean. It, it, Imagine having a, a, a legendary match with Leatherface and Jason. Uh, You're not going to yeah. see that anywhere else. You're not going to see that anywhere else, dude. So, I mean, that's like, whoa. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, that's a, that's that's like a, like a dream match. That's like, dude. Oh, of, yeah. all, of all the characters, actually, actually, when I was making my predictions for Combat Pack 2, back in the day when they announced it, and they had the silhouettes and stuff, I thought it, right, they were right. going to have, because I saw the, the shape of the chainsaw, so I thought they were gonna have uh, Ash from the from the the Evil Dead. So I'm like, dude, this oh, I, 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 chainsaw. That, that's, you know what? That's a good one. That's actually a good one. Surprised I haven't done that. Yeah, and I was like, dude, I thought it was really gonna do the Ash, but now they had Leatherface, and it's actually probably like like my second choice. So that's pretty yeah. badass. I actually I actually love that. But uh, some people don't for some reason. Uh, probably because the young the youngsters, the youth, they don't they don't know the Leatherface. Youngsters. <laughs> they don't know Leatherface, but he's like freaking legendary, um, a legendary horror oh, character, man. dude. In the horror industry, I mean, you, you have Freddy Krueger, you have Jason. Right next to them is pretty much Leatherface. But, I mean, um, it's a different type of horror. Um, Freddy, I can't say, well, I, Freddy and Jason, I don't know if there's such thing called pop horror, but uh, when Texas Chainsaw first came out, that was like a disturbing horror. It wasn't like pop horror, if that makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I remember watching those as a kid, and that it's it was pretty demented, you know what I'm saying? Those movies were demented. I don't know if you remember them. I mean, they're cannibalistic yeah. killers, and the guy who wears a per, a person's or somebody's face on his own face. That's like whoa, you know. That's like a totally different level. Yeah, and actually, actually, the very first movie, uh, the mm -hmm. very first Chainsaw Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my. My all-time favorite movies, and and oh, I saw, and I saw it when still, I was, it's still. I saw it when I was very little. I was probably like nine or eight, and I was very disturbed. Yeah. It was one of those movies <laughs> that got me really disturbed. But I, as as kid, oh, I was yeah. pretty screwed up. As kid, as kid, we used to watch those movies every Friday night on on TV. They would show like a horror movie, and and the TV channels here would will not hold any any bar. It will not bar any holds. They will show like oh, like man. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like. Uh, all these like bloody gory uh, movies, and it was really cool. Yeah. So so yeah, I grew up on that. So so that's why I'm why I'm actually excited about that about that. Oh, and there was like a like a wrestler, like a luchador, who was the he was the Leatherface, and he had like the chains and stuff. And uh, when oh, I really? used to watch wrestling, Mexican wrestling back in the day, it was uh it was really really cool watching. Okay, now just that's uh, cool. okay now just a parenthesis before we continue. Let me explain what's going to happen here. So what I want to do exactly is I want to go over there. You'll see it in a second because you are a little delayed. You're watching the stream, not my gameplay. Um, mm -hmm. I want to go to a tree over there. All right. So probably you're seeing that my character down below where the level shows, it has a counter with numbers. It says it has like an anarchy symbol and a 44. So what it does... Yeah. It, it, it does some cool stats, whatever. But what I wanted to do is, if I, if I, 
I stack up anarchy symbols by emptying my magazine and let it reload by itself without hitting the reload button. But if I reload manually, it will give me uh, health regeneration. I already put up an, a really cheap ass um, shield, but it's giving me more shield time. I mean shield, um, just overall shield. And um, and I'm going to hit the regeneration and hope that I can make it up there, over there. For no reason, no other reason than seeing that easter egg. There is no trophy attached to it. There is no mission point. There is no reward, nothing. I just want to see it. That's it. I tried already four times before like we started the stream. Egg. Exactly. It is an easter egg. I already tried. There is another one here of, on Minecraft, but I won't do that. I don't really care about Minecraft. I just really, really yeah. love Dark Souls, as you all know, and oh, um, and that's a that's a hint to what I'm I'm cooking actually, and um, <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So wish me luck. I already tried four times with a different setup. I didn't make it. I have a, a more stacks, so let's hope I can make it this time. So here you go. This is Reboot Robot, and uh, welcome to Jackass. Oh yeah, this is Jackass. <laughs> welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, man. All I right, like so. So self mutilation digital. All right, so while we run, let's continue with the topics. Uh, okay, so so yeah, they're including Leatherface and then Boracho, which uh if you don't get the joke oh, is uh, Boracho is Boracho drunk in Spanish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh I didn't make it. I didn't make I it. So. Okay, yeah, I need to I need oh, to get yeah, more life. You might you might uh Damn, that's pretty far, man. Yeah, I won't. I won't be able to make it. Oh, uh, I may. I may. Fight for your life, dude. Shoot a fish. Shoot a fish. <laughs> <for your> <laughs> I, I actually, I actually, I actually made it. Made it, uh, even less far than last time. So. Oh really? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty hopeless. I don't really know what to do. Okay. I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gonna look up for some uh, shield that has a corrosive. Protection, and that's probably gonna be the my key to there get you go. that. Your best bet. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll just okay, post cool. uh, if I get it on the future. I'll just post it up on my on the channel, so you'll see that I did it. It's not Sounds nothing. Is, it is nothing new. Everybody knows about this Easter egg. I just want to do it myself. All right. So okay. So okay. Going back to the to Mortal Kombat. So ah, so yeah, so yeah. So Borich is gonna be there, and um. What else? Boraicho and uh, Leatherface. Oh, and the alien, the, sen the xenomorph. Alien, man. Yeah, the xenomorph, dude. That one's a... You know what? That reminds me of a Baraka for some reason. Is that, did you get like a Baraka kind of sense from that? Character? Yeah, I, I actually think part of the lore that um, he's coming up with is that um, he... You know, like, how can uh, how they can grow from... They, they kind of, like, uh, copy the DNA from their host... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I, okay, so we're going. Yeah, I there. yeah, I think I think they supposedly he grew up of a baraka or whatever the the name of the the the, the race is. So that's why he uh -huh. looks like a baraka. That's interesting. Huh. And I most, like that idea actually. Yeah, most likely the other variations will be other type of characters. One of the variations is Queen though. I know that. And and she yeah. spawns oh, yeah. eggs and stuff like that. All right, so yeah, so since we failed, I'm just gonna do some missions. Um, all right, just start so shooting things, man. Yeah, I'm, start but, shooting anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the consolation prize. I'm gonna show you the Minecraft Easter egg. Let's see if <laughs> I can get if I can get it because I don't remember how to get it. It's been very long since I played this game. Okay, so um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep it on topic. So um. Yeah, those those characters are coming out on the on the new on the new combat pack, and the biggest actually news is that they are updating the netcode. It will be uh, not GGPO ne necessarily. For all, all of you who don't know what GGPO is, do you know what GGPO is, Charlie? Yeah, it's a certain type of uh, network. I remember you were talking about it when uh, in Street Fighter, right? They use that. Yeah, Street no. Fighter Three uses it. Street Fighter 3, because I remember right when you started, it says uh, powered by G GGPO or something like that, right? Yeah. If I'm correct. So. Yeah. Yeah, GGPO stands for Good Good Game Peace Out. 
That's what that that's what GG Pro stands for. So uh, it is a it is a netcode that uh, made by a couple guys, uh, and what it does it is called it is it uses a technology technology called a um, rollback netplay. So what it does uh -huh. it, and, and like a gross mode, I don't really know like the whole uh, technology behind it like. Like at all, I mean, I know, but I don't understand pretty much. But what it does is like, sure. instead of showing you frame by frame of what happens on the, what is happening on the fight, it kind of predicts what you're gonna do. So, um, so uh, the game actually uh, is kind of doing what you will or would do in certain situations, just a few split seconds before you do, and. Um, if um, the connection is stable and whatnot, um, you will not, you don't notice any lag. It, it lets you um, it lets you play like lagless uh, because the op the opponent is seeing what you will do and you are seeing what the opponent will do. So yeah, it can it can I had to restart everything. Uh, my connection just decided to um I don't know honestly I don't know what happened. So I had to restart my modem. I had to restart my console. Um, I'm I'm sorry, guys. But uh, well, that that happens. I mean, that happens. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. But anyways, like they say, the show must go on, though. So exactly, we're gonna we're gonna actually now give it completely to you. Exactly. Plus, plus there is always a magic of video edition. So all of this will look like nothing happened in the end. All right. Exactly the the magic of video uh, video editing, you'll, exactly. you'll see you'll see it. It will be Oscar worthy in the future. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So so we're talking about MKX. Let's just finish that topic so we can move on to the other stuff. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. So so I was just just um, um, a really quick recap. So the combat pack is coming up in March. Um, uh -huh. The combat pack will have some cool characters, and it will have improvements on the netcode uh, using rollback rollback um, technology. Games that already use it, um, uh, Killer Instinct, which is has probably the best netplay that I can think of. Um, Street Fighter Five is gonna use it, and based on the beta, again, it's, it's pretty smooth, pretty cool, and. Um, and well, someone must um, it's called Girls also uses it. So um, so MKX is gonna have netcode start in March. But now this is the the important news here is that um, Water, Warner Brothers. Now this is important to know is Warner Brothers, not Nether Realms. Warner Bros. Okay, Brothers. Okay, Warner Brothers. Yeah. Exactly. They decided to drop support for PC. Just like that. No more PC. Why would they do that? Like, why would they do that? Is just like pretty much say that PC gamers are not important to them, or just you know what, to the hell with them? Or I wonder how they made that, you know, that decision. Okay, I don't want to make it sound personal because it's not it's not personal matters. Just remember, companies are not people. Company, companies they don't have face, they don't have a heart, they don't care nothing but their own survival and own money. So mm -hmm. I don't want to make what I'm gonna say is uh, is not. On a personal level, so if you are a PC gamer, don't take offense on me. That's not what I mean. But honestly, yes. That's, <laughs> honestly, yes, that's what they're saying. They're saying the the investment is not going to be worth the trouble. Because remember, they um, was not made by Nether Realms. It was made by a third party company. They had a contractor doing right. the port, and it was pretty shitty, as you all know. It was pretty shitty. It was plagued with bugs, and uh, it was pretty much unplayable for a while. And um, and uh, and it didn't it didn't sell that well. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it didn't sell it didn't sell well, but I didn't sell it didn't it didn't sell that well as I probably expected it on PC to be worth the trouble of rehiring another third-party studio. Made a whole redesign. Nether Realms, I don't think they have the capacity, the manpower, and the money to make it work themselves. So um, I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was completely a business decision, and I kind of understand it. I don't like it, 
but I do kind of understand it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about business. Without business, they can't even get the the game to be pumped out. I mean, I do understand that too. It's just a sad reality. It's just really like a sad reality. That's not what it really is, pretty much. Exactly, and and don't feel well. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It will be, it will sound contradicting itself, this statement. But uh, again, if you're a PC gamer, don't feel like, oh, I'm a second-rate citizen or a second-rate, um, a second-rate gamer, whatever. My money is not worth the same as console gamers, whatnot. But the thing is, uh, companies again, they don't have any loyalties for for any any um, market or console. They only have loyalty to money and their own preservation and survival. So. On the baseline, that's the only thing they have loyalty for. So, um, if they have like, a, if it's gonna be a lot of investment hi hiring a team just to port this patch and the comeback pack to, and they know and they see that it won't have the returns, it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah. So, I I agree. I agree that you feel offended, and I agree, and you are in your right to boycott. Warner Brothers and whatnot, uh, based on the experience they had on uh, on PC ports like Batman, for example, and M MKX itself. Oh my God, that was a wreck. Yeah, but um, just just don't take it personal, cause it is not personal. Honestly, it's just like how it just that the, the numbers did not did not even out. Yeah, just numbers did not come out as they wanted it to. So, as for that, that's it's never gonna gonna be on that version of the PC. Exactly, and keep in mind, keep in mind that, and also keep in mind that um, they promise a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 version. People pre-order the game. I know people who pre-order the game. Oh yeah. And and There's who a are lot like, fans for that. yeah, and people who are like who were very upset because they got botched out of of the game. They just completely canceled it like when the game was supposed to be out. So it's that's just how. Warner Bros. operates, and they don't pretty much. I don't think they care much about their gaming division, to be honest. I mean, they have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I just just by the mu music division, they make probably like ten times as much money as they as they do from gaming. So, and they probably make even more money of their uh, mobile apps that they do from consoles and PC games. So, uh, honestly, to be honest, just even the the whole thing is an afterthought to them. The whole game, so yeah. So I'm Bastards. sorry, guys. I feel your That's pain. I do feel your pain. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Because uh, wasn't there an issue with also um, MGS uh, Metal Gear Solid Five online? Did they cut that out too? Uh, yeah, it's actually going to be released uh, uh, just in a few weeks or by next month. They I said like with 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 the beta, they found a lot of bugs and there was, it was getting hacked or <laughs> they're they're running into some <sighs> issues from what I've heard, but. You know it, how it is. You know how that goes. Yeah, it's not. It's not as if the as if the MGO M, M, MGO is good, anyways. <laughs> they try to hack it to to probably make it more more balanced than what it should be, huh? Who knows? Yeah, probably to make the stupid <laughs> stealth stealth guys visible, and the spawn points fair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So so, what are your thoughts about that? About the whole. M MKX PC debacle. You do have a PC, so so um... I do have a PC, but I mean, um, I did uh, last year. I used to game on it a lot, but now I use it more like a like a tool, you know, for more like video editing and stuff. And um, when when I, when I play fighting games, I usually always do it on console. I mean, it, they run very well on PC, but I just use console because I'm so used to it. Use the controller, hooking up a joystick or whatnot. And uh, that debacle does not affect me much because I already have that game on console. But I do feel for the people. I mean, there's a big, big, um, how do you say it, like a user fan base of, of finding games on PC, especially Street Fighter. But um, and also for M for Mortal Kombat X. I mean, I do feel sorry for those people who have to go through this to the fact that it's, it's not even ever coming out or seeing the light of day. So that's that really does suck for them. I mean, I really. I do feel for them, but just like you said, I mean, they don't see they don't see it being convenient. They don't see you no know, they don't see the numbers crunching the way they want it to crunch. So, I mean, what could you do? I mean, there's other games to play, I guess. But I mean, other than that, the only workaround for that is getting a console and buying the game. I mean, 
it's expensive, but then again, keeping up your PC is also very expensive too. So it depends on how you look at it. Exactly, and it's not like it, and it's not like you PC gamers can do your own combat pack too. Anyways, you can just mod it, mod it, and whatnot. And, yeah, uh, I mean, chill, that, that's the cool thing about PC. I mean, you could pretty much mold anything that you want it to be, but but then again, I mean, it's just it's just how you look at it. Exactly, and and I don't blame you if you don't want to buy uh, WP games anymore, and if you are pissed and you want to put rants online and all that, I don't blame you. Do be my guest, do it all you want. Do it all you want. Just one thing, don't blame it on, on console gamers. It's not console gamers' fault. The rub it in anybody's face or anything, I mean, none of that stuff. It's just, we're just, we're just saying it, you know, out there and how it is. Yeah, the two, pe the two groups of people who sh are, in, are not to blame, Nether Realms and, and console gamers, because it's not their fault. Um, yeah, exactly. It is Warner Brothers completely yeah. and exclusively. Yeah, so I mean, if anything else, point all your guns towards them. Exactly, boycott them and whatnot. I'll support your hundred uh, percent, but yeah, don't don't take it on us. It's not our fault. Cool. So what else is what else is next? All right. Next so on the news. next on the news, we have um, we have oh, the, the, this is a, this is just a, a little tidbit of of really curious um, funny news that I. Read on the week, and sure. uh, they had somebody had an interview with this guy from EA. I honestly I didn't do my due diligence and find the name of the person. Probably put an annotation uh -huh. later on. Okay. Uh, I think it was a, com a community manager or something like that, and uh, he's like, oh, he was like very um, sad that gamers and press in general have that the per perception that EA they are like a beast, they're like a monster out there to go for money for for people's money which again is true that's what they do it's a, it's a company it's a business <laughs> i don't blame them for yeah. it i mean we all work for money i don't go to work just because i love work i go to work because they want money right so companies they exactly. do what they do because they want money there's they, they need to feed their themselves so so yeah they have the interview with this guy and the guy's like um yeah um uh, we're not as bad as you guys think and we kind of feel bad that you think we're a shitty company and whatnot and we're the bad guys yeah no 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 i didn't i don't think they put it that way it's just like uh, you guys it's a little unfair guys okay i could i couldn't get i couldn't get the um, just a, a small thing you'll see in a second i didn't get the the dark souls easter egg but i got the minecraft easter egg so th I there see you that right there, dude. The eight-bit wall. <laughs> <laughs> a little consolation yeah, yeah, prize. I gave it away. A little <laughs> consola consolation prize. All right. So, so what do you think about this? Do you think EA are evil monsters just out there to to keep our woman and our money, or what? Well, I mean, it's ah, uh, they're just a business. I mean, and the thing is, one thing I do hate is that when they come out with the game, or what people mostly think about DLC is uh is they're giving out games that are not finished if people feel like i mean for instance like there's a you know the call of duties even the battlefield i mean you you have a game and then the, the dlc pretty much costs the same as getting a new game you know what i'm saying like the dlc or you know, the season pass is like 40 you know to 50 bucks i don't know depending on how much it is but i mean uh ea does have a weird history you know, you know? Mm -hmm. about putting out games that are un un unfinished and you got to pay for for the product again and again in order to get the full game but i don't know i mean i don't i just feel like in some ways they are like a beast and some they're they're not i don't know mm -hmm. i think it's all about their history you know the history of, of what they've done with games this is this is what i think i i don't think they are like Again, they're evil per se because they're a company out for money, uh -huh. which is fair. Uh, capitalism, people, believe it or not, I, I like capitalism. Yeah. Right. There you go, a little creeper. Um, what I think is they've been very adventurous, adventurous when it comes to when it comes to their um, bi not business decisions, but like. Uh, uh trying to um 
how you say like uh like find out find ways to make money of their properties they've been very mm -hmm. uh very uh kind cautious of uh, or what, no no cautious uh, quite the opposite they've been very uh adventurous when it comes to <laughs> to business models to make oh shit oh shit oh shit oh fuck creepers are keep i'm um, killing me <laughs> oh shit um oh they're blowing <laughs> you up dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, Holy shit, I'm take sorry. A lot of damage, I'm dude. sorry for what I said about Minecraft. Oh, they kill me. I'm fucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, come on, don't. Oh, I almost, I almost survived. Dude, you better get a la the last wind or what they call it. Ah, uh, I almost, I almost got it. All right, I'm going back Fight there for your life. I'm to going party. back there. To to <laughs> unlockables. Oh, dude, you got blasted. Yeah, I got I got some unlockables anyways. I'm going back. I'm not leaving that fight just, the, just it, as it is. Okay, so um, so back to EA. So yeah, they, they I think they've been just trying to find out ways to make money and to and to put um products the best way for them. And also, I don't, I, I honestly do think the consumer uh, trying to make games, for example, that will deliver on. Or will give you content over time or whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. But I agree that they probably have um, quote unquote good intentions. Again, there's no good and evil inherently on a company. They just are things that make money. But yeah. um, they've been doing yeah. it the wrong way. Or they've been catching the wrong impression. But the thing is calling EA evil and calling the people who work on EA evil, that's the pickable. I fucking hate that. I hate that. <laughs> uh, once, oh yeah, I mean, you can't call him evil. Yeah, one, once I, I once I saw this guy, and I don't have anything against the guy. I won't say the name because I don't want problems with that guy. Of all people, he's like, oh, this person, uh, he's like one of those internet vigilantes, and now he's working on EA, and that speaks so far so much of his morals. He doesn't have moral values, whatnot. Like, dude, it's a fucking job. Like, come on. Like what do you want? What do, do you want him not to have a career just because you don't like the company he's working for? Like, come on, there's a lot of people working on Comcast, yeah, on. and people hate Comcast. Yeah, we don't hate them all, do we? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So somebody, yeah. you gotta make your bread somehow, I mean, they, right? They they they, got, they just got a bad rep, man. They really do got a bad rep from their, I don't know, their choices in in the past about what they did with you know with games and DLC, man. They just got a bad rep. Exactly. Plus, plus, and, and plus, they've been, they've been. I, I think, I think they're just like, like this uncle who wants to be cool, but he doesn't know how, and he just ends up fucking. <laughs> he fucking says all it the up. wrong stuff. <laughs> Exa exactly. Exactly. Well, so, what you say? Yeah. Uh, what What you guys used to call me? If you what, uh, viejito chévere. What would you say? Uh, yeah, yeah, like the cool, the cool old dude, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, like you try to say the cool words, but yeah, you just mess everything up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it, same thing. Same thing. I mean, they try to be in the cool and the hip and the now, but they're just screwing everything up. Exactly. So, so I'll be a good. I'll be a good way to put them. Yeah. So I feel you, um, EA rep. I don't think you guys are evil, but I think you need to step up your game and be more user friendly if not uh things are not gonna they get feel better. the wrath of, of gamers talking talking mess talking crap exactly and there is no there is no worse consumer base than the gaming consumer base and i include oh, myself Jesus, uh, i include myself oh, me too, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm picking myself you know oh yeah i know i that's how it is man yeah I, I talk shit i i'm entitled sometimes so it's part I, I love you guys i love my community we are. Uh, uh, we're well, we an, love you guys. We love all you. We we are an entitled bunch of bitches, but well, we are still cool, very united, and we get a lot of things done. So exactly. There you go. Cool. So what's what else is there for for our our news? Another piece of piece of news that I just heard about this morning. Um, yeah. I, I, it is unverified, but I, I saw it on a very reputable source. Yeah. Uh, that Nomen Sky got delayed again. 
No Man's Sky. And you've been talking about this game for months or almost years. I don't even win this game ever since they, they, they posted it, man. Ever since they announced it. The thing is, the thing is, they could continue announcing delay after delay after delay. And, and, and I'm so hyped about that game. That um, right now my hype level is so bad that doesn't matter what product they pull out, I will be disappointed. That bad it is. Like, I'm really, really hype about that game. And the thing is, they just keep freaking delaying it. Um, it was supposed to come in June. Now, uh, again, again, it's uh, uh, TBA. So... To be announced. Man, and the thing is, I mean, last time I, I seen this game, it looked pretty, you know, pretty good. Like, they had their, you know, their stuff together. Yeah, that uh, yeah. They they even they even they they even have a semi release date. They yeah. said uh, it was coming out in June, but that? but not anymore. It seems it seems that now it's coming out on who knows when. Well, I, I mean, mean, supposedly, I mean, if if you guys haven't heard of No Man's Sky, it's pretty much a sci-fi uh, flying outer space game. Or, but the the thing is the the thing that caught most people's eye about this game is that it has an algorithm. Which pretty much you could you could journey throughout the whole galaxy forever. I mean, the, uh, or how long does it take if you want to beat the game and visit every planet in the in galaxies? How long does it take? It will take it all takes... game. It, it will take all gamers about five uh, five billion years, something like that. I think five I think, billion years. Yeah. yeah, I think it has it has enough enough replay value to um, outlive. The the, the, the sun will burn out before you beat the game. The sun will burn out before you beat this game. So I mean, yeah, that's like that's like one of the things. Like wow, this game will never end. What it does is that it pretty much math mathematically calculates a planet, a galaxy. It just keeps on going over and over. And supposedly each planet or each galaxy is is made differently. So this mm -hmm. game will actually it ne it will never end. I mean, if you're talking about billions of years, you might as well just say forever. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, it, it pretty much so yeah, that, that, that's one of the key things that this game looked. You know, that's that's a pretty cool concept. But, I mean, just the fact that I, I can never finish it. It's just very weird. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't I don't even I I don't think the, the developers they don't even know like how big the game is. So yeah, the game itself is a very 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 ambitious. I mean, ambitious. Highly is a, ambitious. Ambitious is ambition is a, ambitious is a is an understatement to be honest. But um, I know, man. They probably made a black hole, and that's what happened, dude. They probably made like a fucking like, <laughs> like they made the game, and all of a sudden they just sucked into a black hole, and that's why it's delayed or something. I don't they, know, dude. They, they, they made they made a black hole that fucked up the whole the whole balance of the galaxy. Yeah, the whole, exactly. That's probably they delayed the game. But uh, yeah, so we're still gonna wait on more news on No Man's Sky, and hopefully when it's released, it'll be in its perfect condition, and we'll be able to play it, and we'll definitely do um right some you know discord. some let's play or online gaming with that so we'll wait till then yeah i will wait to them but honestly the wait is already killing me i i, I do need that game now in my life come on <laughs> i need it in my life come on people come on hello games make it happen please make it happen i hope you're listening hello games so you could actually you know finish this game like by next week guys i bought all the when all the, i bought all the albums of um of uh, 65 days of static just because of the game. I mean, I generally like their music though, but um, I did put money on that. And uh, yeah, that's a big Oh, deal. did you? Yeah. Not CDs. <laughs> I, down I bought the digital downloads out of iTunes, I think. Or Amazon, okay. Okay. something like that. And um, yeah, so make it happen, please. Make it happen. And uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> cool. So what's next on our list, man? What other news do we have? Um, oh, there's a, a new... I want I want to talk about this because also the hype levels went up with this new trailer. Uh, uh -huh. A new trailer for Su Suicide Squad just dropped last week, actually. And it's oh, fucking yeah. I, that amazing. That is correct. I saw that a few days ago. It is fucking amazing. I mean, the... The song, the the music selection, and and what they show. Queen. Is. Yeah, dude. It, 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 I mean, that's one of the most overused songs ever. That doesn't talk about the quality of the song. It's still one of the best songs ever, too. 
But um, oh, of course, of course, it is one of the most overused well, songs ever. But they just made it work. I mean, damn, it, it was really good for what they show. And the thing is, something really cool they did, and that they are not doing with um, with a uh, Batman v Superman is they are not showing actually anything about the the movie. They just show show a scenes, but I still don't know what the movie is about. So that that's really cool. Yeah, they. they... They didn't give like uh, like cliff notes through the through the preview like Batman versus Superman. Yeah, they are a little closer to a Marvel movie trailer than a DC movie trailer. Yeah, I noticed that they probably took uh, took some notes on that. I mean, uh, at first I thought this. I've been uh, pretty negative on you know Batman versus Superman from the previews I've seen. I think I already talked about this. I mean. But then again, it's a preview. I can't really judge it. I cannot do that. I got to see the movie first, and and then after that, you know, I'll I'll give my my ideas and opinions. But um, when I first saw this, remember as Batman, I'm like, oh, you know, a Suicide Suicide Squad is going to probably go through the same thing. It's going to probably, you know, it's it's not going to follow. It's not going to be, or how do you say, it, dedicated to the, you know, to the stories of, of what the actual characters are in the comic books, this and that. But watching this trailer, I'm like, wow, you know what? This actually could give me gives me hope and i heard that um what's his name the guy who plays uh, the joker was it jared jared little you're a little uh-huh uh -huh, jared little um i heard that he uh people were talking about the director and also people working around him were talking about his ethics and how he acted for the movie mm -hmm. and they said that he was pretty much on character the whole time he was on the set even though they said cut or whatever he was actually on character <laughs> playing the character as a joker and it was freaking people out he's actually <laughs> freaking people out that's what i heard and then when i saw this i'm like whoa you know what uh this probably could be a, a joker that we were looking for i mean i don't know because i mean we all talk about heath ledger and jack nicholson how they all had their special play on the joker they all left their special mark you know they have their own little style I want to know how this guy, what kind of style he le he leaves, what kind of footprint he leaves, you know, through the through the most iconic villains in in you know DC history, the Joker. So I mean, I can't really wait to see that. Yeah, and um, yeah, and there are some some theories that are uh, making the rounds on the internet that, uh, for example, mm -hmm. this Joker is not the real Joker, but like another Joker, another version of the Joker, and uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and. Uh, and yeah, it's just making it's just making the it's just making like uh, I don't know. It's very interesting because uh, I mean uh, this Joker is very different. For example, uh, of what the other Jokers have been about, but mm -hmm. uh, but the, but the thing is, it might not actually be the, the Joker we're used to. It might be like a whole completely different new character, kind of like. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say this the theory because I don't want it to be a spoiler and just be blamed for it in the future. But ah, um... uh, yeah, you know what? I think I know what you're talking about because we've seen uh, in Robin's Robin's suit. How it says uh -huh. the jokes on you. Yeah, 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 stuff like yeah, that. Are yeah. you going towards or towards that? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's... Yeah, I, I I know what you're heading to. Exactly. Ex <laughs> I heard exact. that one too. I heard that. Yeah. And the thing is, the thing is, the the movie the movie seems like to be a, a fun action flick. But also it has like some sort of it has some um, a lot of um, like disturbing uh, disturbing themes and stuff. So it it does feel very very faithful to the source material. As I mentioned uh, last week when we were talking about Batman v Superman, um, mm -hmm. how like uh, probably the 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 trailer robbed a, a lot of people wrong because it showed too much and and whatnot. But it feels like a, it feels like a DC a DC movie, like something out of a DC of a DC comic. And this this feels like like Suicide Squad. I I, I I'm seeing it. I'm like, dude, this is the Suicide Squad. Like this is the comic book. So so I'm, I'm actually I, I, I was actually since since they showed the first trailer on Comic Con, I was kind of excited for the movie. But like but after this, honestly, it just went up like one of my top 10 movies to watch this year there's like a superhero movie coming out like all like once every month this year isn't there because we, yeah. we have a uh, suicide squad batman versus superman we got civil war 
we got Doctor Strange. It's like, man, this is going to be a full year of superhero movies, right? Yeah, Captain America. Don't forget about Captain America. That's going to be the oh, big one man, this year. Not even, not even Captain America. It's the feature of Spider Man that's going to be in the movie, man. That's what's driving people crazy. It's the a, new it, Spider Man that's coming out. It is actually going to be in like the, a mini it's Avenger. A, it's, a, it's going to be a mini yeah. Avengers. Actually, it, they, they want to promote so bad that movie um, that they are making a Civil War. They are making a Civil War to a comic book on Marvel. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's um like, and like and, a sequel to the original Civil War. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly this time it's a Iron Man versus Captain uh, Captain Marvel, and supposedly it's a. It's a, it, it will be a story about accountability, like how, uh, I don't know if it's Iron Man or Captain Marvel, because I haven't read the comics. Plus, they haven't come out mm -hmm. yet. They just announced them. Right. Um, will be, uh, one of them wants to wants the superheroes to be accountable and the other one not. And like, uh, oh, okay. something about that, like be accountable for your acts or whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's, I mean... Yeah, the, the superhero movies this year, in fact, I I dare to say they are even overdoing it this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like an overdose, huh? Not even that, man. We got, like, Star Wars up in the mix, too. Uh, it's yeah. like, jeez. I don't yeah. think, I mean, you know what? I haven't been to a theater regularly in a long time. I mean, I go see the big hits that, that come out. But this year, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my own record on going to the movies. I mean, it's like wow, there's so much to see right now. Yeah, um, yeah. Honestly, right now is is crazy when it comes to to upcoming movies, and um, and <coughs> damn, um, I I also I'm not also the type of person who goes to the movies much. I rather wait until they come on DVD or um, or, or VHS. streaming services, or VHS. <laughs> Of course, the VHS of my choice. Yeah, beta. Um, <laughs> or they come on the streaming services. I rather do that. They go to the movies, to the cinema, because I don't have a date to go with. Anyways, done. Well, not even that. Just the comfort <laughs> of your own home. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> I yeah, I have a, a nice TV and a nice sound system. So yeah, that's all I need. Yeah, that's but, all uh, you need. Man. That's all but, you need. Yeah, but this year I think that I'm I'll be going at least once a month to to the theater because with all these movies coming out and and each looks better than the next dude it's like Deadpool is coming out know, and man. Batman v Superman is coming oh, out Deadpool. and that looks badass. That's right, man. And uh, and I'm then uh, Deadpool, man, that's like one of the best. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, yeah, I noticed that you forget that, but um. Yeah, but that's coming out, and then Batman v Superman is coming out, and then uh, Captain America is coming out, and then uh, Suicide Squad is coming out, Doctor Strange, uh, and all these movies, man. It's going to be a good year. It's good to be alive. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope it stays that way for long. At least for until until this year. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, don't kill me, please. <laughs> Alright, so... So, yeah. That's... That's all I have in store. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. What else to talk about? Uh... Okay, so... We pretty much covered every basis, didn't we? Yeah, we covered everything we want to cover today. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I, I promised that I was gonna. Ah, don't fall. I thought I was gonna fall. Um, I promised <laughs> that I was gonna do a special feature on Bloodborne this week. Uh, I'm actually taking a little break for Bloodborne because I don't want to feel it, feel it like a short what I'm gonna do. But um, starting this week, I'm gonna start putting up episodes on my Platinum Run. Check those out, guys. They're gonna be awesome episodes. It'll yeah, be like a walkthrough because this game is not for the faint of heart and it's not for everybody, obviously, if you played it. Yeah, it's dude, this. No, and plus, I, you already had my thoughts on my game of the year discussion on Bloodborne. You know, it's my it is my one of my two games of the year, and of the two games that I chose as game of the year, is my favorite one. Um, it's the one that I just kind of still, still keep playing and I still find things, cool things to do. 
Now, just so you know, the format, um, I'll be putting out an episode. Um, it will be um, from the la from the lamppost to the bus. That will be an episode. And I'll break it down on that. And just so you know, you can. I will try to strategize a little bit so you... So you can use that on your own runs and stuff. Keep in mind that I won't do any of the optional bosses. And uh, it will be a more like an interme intermediate to advanced guide because um, I will not stop to explain things. I will just give you my build. I will just uh, tell you some some trips and... Lore. Dig, some dig, lore. Uh -huh, yeah, some lore, some tips and tricks. But I won't hold anybody, anyone's hand. But... Um, I hope you guys um, actually, um, all of us, um, kind of do our own strategies and stuff. So I'll hope you see you there. If everything goes well, probably nice. by Tuesday I'll have the p the first episode up. Nice. Well, we'll keep an eye out for that, and also keep an eye out for my R and um, our R and R collectibles. We're gonna put some more stuff um, up that we talked about earlier, and uh, yeah, just. Um, We'll keep you posted if anything else, all any gaming, movie news. I mean, just keep it here with us. And if you're if you've been with us the whole time, thank you for joining us. And yeah, what else is there? Anything else? Nothing else. Also, also we we hear suggestions. If you want us to cover a topic, if you want us to stream a specific game, if you want us to live stream, just let us know. Um, we'll kind of we can work it out. Um, if you want us to show you gameplay of any game, just tell us um, if we have it we'll play it for you guys and Definitely. Uh, want us to cook we'll cook exactly I, I'm actually I'll, we'll another do, thing we'll do a cooking channel <laughs> another thing where I've been trying to actually kind of coerce um, Charlie to get Rocket League I want to make a Rocket League kind mm. of kind of uh, team and if you guys are into Rocket League and you want us to do like a small tournament just for the bragging rights of being good at Rocket League uh, please let me know, cause I'm I'm getting into that game and I'm actually getting fucking hardcore. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. I'll check it out. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. I'll get it soon. Actually, I'll check it out. I'll yeah, cause cause um, uh, Ivan, this other friend, and I, we need a third party, a third person there, dude. Cause we want to start making millions oh, nice. with that game. We want to go to oh, the we pro could, yeah, league. We can definitely stream some, man. We we we, we could stream some of that stuff. Yeah, we'll check it out. I'll check it out for sure. All right, so yeah, I'm not I'm not into sports games and stuff. So if I'm saying it's good, it's good. Yeah, you won't, you 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 won't you won't see a stream FIFA or nothing like that. No. Definitely not. I but I hate heard this game those is games. pretty fun, the Rocket League. Exactly, uh, I hate those uh, games. So. Pez. Pez. Yeah, I, but, are you I mean, a pesero <laughs> or a fifero? <laughs> oh shit. Fifero, pesero. I'm, I'm none of none of the above, man. But. I'm all about the NBA jams and uh, NFL blitz. I used to love those games. Even Tech uh, Tech Mobile. You guys remember that? I mean, that's kind of old school. But yeah, I mean, I'll check this Rocket League out, and we'll definitely stream some stuff on here. So just make sure you, uh, you keep it with us, and yeah, we'll definitely pump out some more gaming collectibles and also some um, news and movies. Sounds all good. Right. All right, so. So keep it gaming, keep it cool, sign and see you next time. Gaming. Same time, same day. <laughs> same time, same day. All right. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Bye. I am totally getting my ass kicked while I stop this broadcast. Yeah. <laughs>